Hi, everyone. Uh, coming on a little early with a, another message from Ascended Master St. Germain. Uh, he came through yesterday, and it's about manifesting. So um, let's go ahead and start with his message now. Uh, I brought his energies in. So let's sit in the energies. Okay. And he starts, we bid you hello, dear ones. You are in a special timing where manifestation is almost immediate when your heart is aligned with intention. Take time to write out what your heart calls forth so that you may align yourselves with that which serves the greater good and the highest timeline. This is your ability to create what you desire going forward. Making a choice with intention is your God's will within you making manifest with this creational thought. Remember, thoughts are energetic fields that go out into the ether and are carried everywhere in the, into the multiverse. So this is resonance. This is how it works. So imagine many great ideas in your world are like the automobile. This idea is an original thought and it goes out into the ether and many beings pick up that resonance of that thought and they begin to create from it. So this is the resonance of thought. So beloveds, you have very powerful loving thoughts and ideas that go out into the ethers to be made manifest. What would you like to make manifest in your world, your environment, and for you personally? These ideas come from inspirational thought and passion in the heart. And that is like jet fuel to the resonance for manifesting quickly. So watch your thoughts related to others. And we would suggest that you send love and light out to anyone you may have less than loving thoughts about because the ethers manifest as if it is for you. So this was an interesting thing. Last night before I went to sleep, I asked, I thought, well, I hope I can get clarification on this one part. And I just checked in to see if I could connect with St. Germain. And these energies are amazing. He came right in and gave me this clarification. The ether reflects back to you. The ether is conduit, conduits. It goes to the resonance. You set it and you, you are resonating with it. Then it becomes a group of humans resonating at the same frequency. So be sure of your resonance goal. If you wish to resonate with the higher frequencies of light as in fifth density energies, then you want to send out love and light to your brethren. It's the old adage about pointing a finger at someone and three fingers of your own hand point back at you. So, thought that was funny and it's true. So keep your hearts light and get inspired about what you would like to bring forward in your life, dear ones. You are gods and manifest now. The creator is loving you and as you all as divine creations of the oneness. This is what and who you are. Use this knowledge carefully in every moment you will do well. Now go forth and create the world you wish to see as your heart's desire, so shall it be. It is already done. I am Saint Germain. I love you all, dear ones. In the oneness that is divine source, I will say goodbye for now. End of transmission. So <laughs> that was pretty amazing. I was getting goosebumps. But I did have to look up. Hi, everyone in the chat. You guys, you always impress me that you can come on so quick. Richie, Lauren, Lori, Shaw Woman, Scorpio Mama. Hi, nice to see you in the chat. 
I'm just going to give you a little explanation of what the ether is, since it's this web that kind of connects. It's like the space in between the space. But this is the definition. Ether is the first of the five elements of the universe, as described by Ayurveda, a sister of sister science of yoga. Ayurveda teaches that teachings state that the universe is composed of five elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Ether is considered to be the most subtle of the five elements. Ether is sometimes referred to as the spa as space because it is the space that all other elements fill. Ether has the properties of lightness, airiness, and spirituality. It also has been equated by some with the concept of consciousness. So just, and by the way, here's something really interesting. The Sanskrit name for ether is Akasha, as in Akashic records. Yes, folks, <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> so when St. Germain started to talk about ether, I had to, I go, oh, oh, <laughs> I've heard it, but I didn't really know what it meant. So when I looked that up and saw that it is the Sanskrit name for ether is the ascent, ether is Akasha. That's what it means in Sanskrit. Oh, so deep. <laughs> it's like a deep, deep well. Of, I don't even know where to put it. So I'm always amazed when I get in there and start channeling to see what they say because sometimes I'm I read it after because I never remember what they say and I'm like where did all that come from but somehow it's all amazing and it all weaves together uh hi Bora Bora hi Sharon thanks for being here um so again um another powerful message from Saint Germain so let's keep our thoughts really watch your thoughts they're resonating so quickly now you need to focus on me included what we want to bring in what what we want to resonate with and don't try not to get caught up in any drama outside yourself because that now you see how that can lower your frequency because you're sending a, res a field out there that will resonate with that lower frequency. And that's like making it tenfold, you can imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, Lauren, I love St. Germain's messages too. I mean, he's just amazing. One day I'm going to go in there and ask for, give us the violet flame information. <laughs> Not that we all haven't already learned how to work with the violet flame, but we might get an even broader understanding of it. Now, um, I just want to say that I also, after this, I am coming back on to do a um, transmission that I got, and it was by request, a subscriber request, about Pluto. Could you please give us a transmission from Pluto? It was amazing. So I think you'll all be interested in that. Then the last one I'm going to come on and do is I got a beautiful, beautiful message from Maitreya, Maitreya Buddha. So I think that is just amazing. Well, all these messages are really powerful and they step into your working with these energies coming in into your power you're stepping in and you're doing these things and each one of these beings brought in some of those steps it's pretty amazing and it's given me the goosebumps how it all comes together like that it's amazing anyway so uh stick around and in a couple of minutes i am going to come back on with the transmission from pluto who is a sentient being and um we're not going to call it the dwarf planet we're going to call it the smaller planet in respect for the sentient being that is pluto well we name it pluto so anyway i love you guys Mwah. thanks for coming <laughs>
Thanks for being here. I love all your energy and I love all the beautiful comments and messages I get from all of you. It really gives me, you know, feedback to continue the series and I'm glad that you're resonating with it and it's working for you. Um, yeah, Lauren, the messages are vitally important. Yeah, we really have to learn how to work with all this and for our highest good and the highest good of all. Oh, you're welcome, Bora Bora. <laughs> oh, gosh, Janet. Well, thank you all so much. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.